Please listen carefully. Hi, Keith Roberts here again. Rule number 18, Todoist. This is the way I track my action items, my to-dos. I don't keep a pad or, or a piece of paper on my desk that may not be with me when I need it to keep track of what, uh, what I need to do for today. Todoist is web-based or cloud-based. It's available no matter what device you're using, cell, PC, or tablet. It's cross-platform. It can be Apple or Android, doesn't matter. You can set up projects. Projects might be uh, a more detailed, it's not just one item that's marked off, but maybe a series of items that go together to, uh, to complete a project. Here's an example. Let's say I'm gonna set up a meeting at a local hotel for a group of business people. Well, the first thing I need to do, I create a name for the, like, for the project. It might be meeting on Wednesday, the June 20th. So first thing I do is set up the meeting room. That would be an action with a certain due date. Number two would be alert the attendees to invite them. So I send an email. That'd be item number two. Or each task within that, that part would be a list of each person that's going to be invited. So as I send an invitation, I can mark them off. Next thing would be order refreshments, or maybe the hotel's gonna do that, or maybe I'm going to prepare a slide presentation. So these would all be tasks in a, in a project. Most projects are very simple, but each task on that project could have its own due date. You can flag it as a, a, a priority of say one to four. Uh, it can be red, color-coded. Uh, I can share projects. I can share tasks. So I just send an email invite to allow somebody else to have access to my to-do list. My to-do list can be broken up between personal, business, uh, maybe uh, some kind of hobby. So I can set up all these various categories of to-dos and uh, they're there to be separated for me to manage easier. It's hard to do that with a piece of paper and a pad. Alerts, I can alert myself or others via email or text that I've got this item that's coming up uh, to be due. Um, I can set up email integration. This is huge. I use Gmail. I don't know how many of y'all use Gmail, but it's a great, simple cross-platform tool for email. So what happens in email uh, integration is that if you have an email that comes in from a client, here's an example, uh, and this requires you to go out and do some research or to prepare or do something before you follow up with the client. Email comes in, you flag it with the icon to go on your to-doist list. I can, it automatically adds it, it creates a hyperlink between the two, and then it can alert me later to go back and do that. So if I'm looking at my to-do list for today, I click on a hyperlink, it opens up the email, and I can see the details, even the attachment that's there. I can do a full text search of all my to-dos. So if I've got several different to-do lists, I can use the text search, the hypertext search, to go out and find any email related. Maybe it has a certain name or, or uh, project name or person in it. So in sharing these, um, they can be shared with uh, private, with one person or a group of people. Also too, what I like is I use uh, Google's, the Google Calendar and my to-do list integrates with Google Calendar. So it puts these items color-coded on at the beginning of my uh, uh, calendar. So if it's a reoccurring event, or to, a reoccurring to-do, they can show up every day for say a whole week as I'm working on some long-term project. So uh, there's many, many uh, more things that uh, to-do's can do. Highly recommend it. I use it every day. Can't get away without uh, using it. Hope that helps. Have a great day.